I'm taking some time off today. It's Saturday. Some time to take care of myself, but I thought I'd do a quick video on capacitors. Two tips. I'm gonna teach you something I learned in trade school that helped me to never miswire a single phase motor again. And I had, I'd burn up a few when I first started. And second, describe what the voltage rating on a capacitor means and how you can check that voltage on a capacitor. So um, you're gonna wanna see this. <laughs> capacitors out here and the first thing I told you I was going to tell you was the tip I was taught in trade school that really helped me um, you know wire stuff up like a hard start kit or any single phase motor that requires a capacitor and that tip is a capacitor is always between start and run now on these it can be either side if you remember that you'll never miswire a single phase motor again now these if you look right here there's a c right there you know i really wish they wouldn't put a c right there because that's misleading if you trace that back to the contactor that's the run winding, it's not common. So this is run, this is start for the compressor, and this is start for the condenser fan motor. So the capacitor is always between start and run. Second, I wanted to go over this 440 volt rating on a capacitor. The um, capacitors are rated at either 370 or 440. And sometimes my dealers, the people who sell the parts, and even some technicians have been asking me, you know, what's the difference? Or they don't want to sell me one because one's rated for 370 and they don't want to sell me a 440. Well, here's the difference. You need to understand what a capacitor does. A capacitor does not just help the motor get started, like the compressor or the condenser fan motor. It also helps to deal with what's called back EMF, and that's back electromotive force. And the best way to explain that is once Let's just talk about the compressor for a second. Once the, this helps this winding to get the compressor started, this winding is basically not in use. And if you think about the windings of a motor, they're very similar to the windings on a generator. So if this winding is not in use and the motor's turning, it's gonna treat, create electricity that flows backwards to here. Now the capacitor helps to deal with that to keep from creating problems with the electricity in the system in the house. But you can measure that electricity from here to here. And that's common to Herm or like a like for a condense, condenser fan motor from here to here, you can measure that electricity. And that's the electricity that this rating is talking about. If it's a 370, the capacitor has the ability to short if the voltage between, excuse me, common and Herm become too high above 370, that capacitor may short. But if it's rated at 440, it has to get 
considerably higher before that capacitor is outside of its rating and has the possibility of shorting. So if you buy, by mistake, a 370, yeah, it's probably gonna work, but the 440 is just a better capacitor. All right, that's it for this short little video. I hope it was helpful to you. I thought I would share a little something with you about myself. One of the reasons I started doing these videos is because I really want to pass what I know on to other people. And I don't have any children to pass it on to. Maybe that's too much information, but uh, that's really the reason I started doing the videos. Thanks for watching.